Welcome to Good Mythical More. You know, the world is full of Funko Pops. My kids' bedrooms are full of Funko Pops. I mean, they'll be like floor to ceiling in these in these stores. All of them? All you kids do it? Uh, at different times, to different levels, they have. Um, and then at a certain point, I think Lily n wanted money for something, and then I, I just found a bunch of Funko Pops wrapped up, and like she had like eBayed them. Got a little business. She got a little business. Huh. She removes the heads first. Good. Well, you'll be right at home. No, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna identify Funko Pops headless. So, um, if you're not into that, click away. But first, a random disturbing fact. Giant beavers the size of black bears once roamed the lakes and wetlands of North America. Ooh, this That's isn't cool. surprising, man. North America used to have big giant old things. mammals. We have big old bears, giant bears, giant sloths. I wish I could go back. A big we could old... go back to the big big mammal times. And then just saddle one up. I I've, I've seen um footage of of pet beavers <laughs> in homes. Yeah. Building dams out of household items that they're just like I don't even know. It's on TikTok, but I don't know how, what house the, beavers. Like, what? What? How do you have a house beaver? It's why do you have a house beaver? It's wild. It seems strange. Does, I, maybe you build a house where a beaver already is. So then you have to include them. You have to invite them to everything. If you don't, then they come back and haunt you after they die. Mm. You don't want to be haunted by a beaver. All right. Let's see the let's see the first one here. That is Dwight that's a, from the office. That's a businessman of some sort. That's Rain uh, Wilson. You think that Wilson? Rain Wilson. Shoot, man, that's a good guess, and it's the correct one. Yeah, well, because he wears the mustard shirt, and he always has his. Phone. Yep. Yep. Did you did you see? Um, you know, Rain went around uh, uh, promoting uh, his book, which I want to read. The, the Soul Bloom or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, something he's like a that. thoughtful, thoughtful guy. Um, he was telling a story about being on a plane next to the guy. You know how on uh, at least Delta, they've got all those backlog episodes of uh, Office, and the guy sitting next to him on the oh. plane was watched the Office the whole time without realizing he was sitting next to Rain Wilson. Because <laughs> I think Rain had a mask on, and then at the end of the thing, he was like, "You like that Office, huh?" It's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Rain was like, yeah, I heard it's okay. Or he said, well, yeah, the first couple of seasons are kind of slow. He's like talking to him about it for like a couple of <laughs> minutes before he realized you're that talking to funny. Dwight right now. Uh, friend of the show. You know, I had him on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, How about uh, another? Don't have his Funko Pop. My kids also went through an office phase, which I'm, I was proud. Oh, yeah. That they were big into the it office. Holds up. So this is, this is wrestling Dwight. It seems like he's untucked his shirt <laughs> and he's ready to grapple. Who who what? would who would have a, a, tie, a tie a disheveled tie, untucked shirt and Lululemon pants, boots? Who's the who's a a big handed businessman? Is this like Wreck It Ralph or something? <laughs> I don't know anything about that. I never watched that. Um. Is it, can we get a hint about like what genre we're in? You, I think you said wrestler. Oh, right? it is a wrestler? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, what wrestler he, he had wrestler like hands. Um, I think this might be uh, Mankind. Hey. Is it? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, the mask really uh, sets it off. What era what is Mankind from? <laughs> Okay. Stone Cold Attitude Era. Okay. I was not. I was not a viewer. Then, I had but, checked out by that point. Um, do we know if Mankind was ever anybody else without the mask, Carney? Yeah, he had a few personalities. He was uh, Cactus Jack without the mask. He was Dude Love without the mask, Dude Love. and he was Mick Foley sometimes without the mask. Oh, he's Mick Foley. Yes, Mick Foley. Yeah, and he had multiple personalities. Oh, I love. And what stuff. what is the mask supposed to be? Is it like a Chainsaw Massacre? No, it's that would be It's inspired by that. It is inspired by that, but it's there's no real story behind it. He's just kind of like a disturbed man. <laughs> yeah. That's a good office scary worker. mask. Disturbed office worker. Yeah. Next. 
Okay, so this That's is, the guy from Nightmare on Jack Skellington. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nightmare. Whoa, that's cool. What is it called? Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. So just to continue to talk about my children, I did not watch any of the, these movies, like the Coraline or the Nightmare Before Christmas. I didn't see any of them until they told me that I had to watch them. They're all very good. Did you not like them? I do like them, they're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was missing out. That's why you have kids, so they can tell you about the things you're missing out on when they get old enough, Morgan, don't worry. You're like, you'll start to benefit. You pretty much, you know, it's about keeping keeping the little ones alive and then one day it'll be about, it, the tables will turn. It's funny because, uh, you know, a lot of parents think about the stuff that they can show their kids that they got dead experience as kids. Right. You My get the things that your kids are experiencing now to show their dad. It's like, what, how, why do you always show your dad things? Well, he was he was missing for a long time as a child. <laughs> like, what is the explanation? We don't have an explanation. Well, I, we show him I, I give them the bonker explanation. You know, like that Brendan Fraser movie. Well, I tell them that was me. It's like those folks that are like raised in a cult and they and they can't watch any movies until they get out into when they're like twenty. Yeah, I was just raised as your friend, but I was watching all the movies. I don't. I know. I know. We've been through this. Uh, before we get to the next one, we want to remind you and humbly ask you to uh, participate in the mythical census. It's just a short survey designed for us to gain insight into. What you're interested in and what makes you tick. We want to we want to continue to reach you, make you happy. Uh, the survey opens on June 12th and it runs through Friday, June 24th. So uh, fill that out, just because we're saying please and it's valuable. And if that's not good enough, you know what? We will give you 15% off Mythical.com for participating. Wow. How's that? MythicalCensus.com. Uh, when this is over, or you know what? Pull it out right now. Se second second tab. Second tab. Second browser. Second screen. Mythicalcensus.com. You know, you're just you're you're enjoying this. Do that at the same time. We'll wait. Or we'll go on well, and we'll but, do, you know, you can do two things at once. We'll go on. <laughs> we'll go on. Here's the next one. Um The Blues Blues Cruise Boy. What's ja his name? Ja Jimmy 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 Julie. No. Uh Bill. Pa, pa, Paul. Bob. Mm -hmm. Starts with an S. Slater. Slater. Sl Sammy. S Still, Stilton. Sc sc Scooby. If you Skrillex. answer an email, <laughs> if you reach out to me via email very quickly, you call me this. What? <laughs> Sometimes people <laughs> refer to me as this via email if Steve. they can't stop and yep. Steve. Steve. Mm -hmm. Steve. And this is the second Steve? First, First Steve? Steve? This is the only Steve, right? No, there's been two Steves. Three there's three Steves? Steves? Wow. Do all Funkos not I, have mouths? I don't think they do. Well, we just saw one that did. Jack Skellington. Okay. Steve should have known. Okay. Um, what? Wings? You got wings? Yeah, are the are those wings, or is that like a hair. seashell? Oh, 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 it's it's a lot of hair. It's a giant hair. Um, pink lingerie. Big hair. Hmm. Stormy Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Bingo. This Bunko. character wears this outfit when she goes to what she believes is a costume party, and it turns out is not a costume party. Oh, that's one of my um, nightmares. Legally Blonde. Hey! I have not seen that movie. I don't know how, how I guess you... it. I think, again, people tell me what happens in movies, and I remember it. It's a, mm. it's a great one. She goes to a She's costume so party. so charming. Yep. And what's the other one where she was a lawyer? That's the same. <laughs> yeah. What's the one where she wasn't a lawyer? Yeah. I mean a large number of films. I illegally. Blind. I don't think I've seen a movie with her in it. Not Is that true. a surprise? Not true. Not true. You've How seen is a that Reese possible? Name a Reese Witherspoon movie you've seen. Election? <laughs> no. Sweet Home Fear. Alabama? Fear? No. 
Let me pull up her whole. Uh, what we're about the one? Find a movie that. What about the one where she went? Cruel hiking? Intentions. Oh, Cruel Intentions. Wild. So nope. good. Wild. Um, Clueless. I've seen Clueless. No. She's not in there. <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. Big Little Lies. HBO. Uh, you watched that I show, saw a little right? bit at, over Christy's shoulder, and there was a penis. <laughs> so I kept, it I was kept a, walking. It, that was a prosthetic. Whose penis was that? Skarsgård. Yeah, I kept walking. <laughs> I haven't seen her in anything, but I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of her as a person. Next. Wow. That's a Harry Potter situation, right? This is Hermione. Come on. Come on. Well, Hermione? Did you pronounce Hermione differently that time? <laughs> Hermoine? <laughs> Hermoine. <laughs> Hermoine. This is like a popular character very much right now. Oh, uh, Wednesday Adams. There you go. Okay. Oh, uh, I yeah. Did you watch Come that? Come on. I watched... Uh, Couple episodes of that. Is Reese Witherspoon in it? Nope, not when I saw well, it. Well, I'm not watching it. Um, Fred Armisen was um, uh, Uncle Fester. That but, sounds good. But he had to. You had to. He had to keep waiting for him to show up. Pleasantville. No. Pleasantville. No. She's also in. Um, did anyone see Freeway? That's like one of the first movies she's in. Uh-uh. What's that? Oh, so good. Legally Blonde is what made she has her a famous, deep, right? Deep, deep Southern accent. Oh, Mud. Yes. You've seen Mud. Oh, that's a good movie. Yeah, she's in that, right? Who was she? Was she? She was his McConaughey's uh, ex-wife, ex ex-girlfriend. What a good movie, especially when you're. That's a good. Movie. Two Southern boys who grew up. In the sticks and went to the river a lot. Like that movie is yeah, like yeah, so close to home. That, so I've seen Reese home. Witherspoon in a movie. Who was the other actress in that? Um, who else is in Mud? Those boys didn't. Neither one of those kids ended up going to do anything else, or did they? You still doing the survey? Do the census. Mythicalcensus.com. You see, you could have been done by because those kids were like super talented, but I think they were is literally like. Person? Th those kids were like not actors, if I remember correctly. They were just like locals. They were good actors, whatever they were. How about this one? Oh, that's a guy from Up, <laughs> the the old man. Uh, yeah. How'd you know? His name was. I I couldn't have remembered that. We uh, tried to remember the dog's name recently on this show. We tried to remember his name on the show. Oh, we did. Were we told his name? Yeah. <laughs> Walter, and we were thinking we'll never that use that again. Guess. Bless you. Starts um, with a C. Coulter. Carl. Carl. <laughs> Bless you, son. All right, let's do another. Who else was in Mud? Who? Anybody? There was somebody else. Sarah Paulson. Hamilton. Sarah Paulson. That's not no. What I'm Beast. About. Who's the other adult? Hamilton. Hamilton. But who? Uh. Alexander. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. How do we be more specific with that? I haven't seen Hamilton. I will not see Hamilton. Lynn uh, Manuel. Third, third president of the Miranda. United States. John third Adams. Adams. Third president of the United States. Thomas Jefferson. John yeah. Adams. Who is it? John Adams. I said yes. Thomas. Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson was the third. Oh. Yeah. Who was the second? Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, we got little, some little sort of a... back here. <laughs> uh, uh, Mulan. Uh, that's a curved blade. Um, it's this is Mortal Kombat. This is when Matt Damon got a lot of blowback for being in that samurai movie. Yeah. This is Tom Cruise as the last samurai. This is for a TV show that you both watched, as did a good portion Seinfeld. of people. <laughs> this is Kramer. I, Kramer I in his not, samurai. I did not watch this TV show. You did not watch it, but we did. Yeah. Um, Simon and Simon, did you ever say that? 
No, I didn't. Dukes of Hazard. I mean, that is like a samurai suit. Quantum scene, Leap, the original. Why would they have a Funko Pop of that? Mash. Uh, is this, uh, it's, it's a television show that we watched. Mm-hmm. Recently? With a samurai? Maybe, maybe, I think you were maybe very disappointed in the end, uh, as was everyone. Um, well, that's not a Lord of the Rings character, and I wasn't disappointed. Oh, is HBO this HBO series? Is this a, a House uh, of the Dragon? Game of the Thrones. Mm-hmm. Is it which? Is it? Is it Game of Thrones? Yeah. Well, I don't know which guy that well, is. Who dressed like that? Um. Oh gosh. That's not Dinklage, is it? He never dressed like that. Is this one of the Unsullied? Lift that skirt. No. No. <laughs> um. Need another hint. Um, a woman. <laughs> oh, is this the Dragon Queen? No. This is Daenerys. Nope. No. Uh, this is the Golden Samurai Witch. We give up. Let's see it. Let's it's... see if we can see it and okay. say who it is. Oh, this is um, Gwendolyn. What's her name? Um, yeah. Uh, I can't remember. Brienne her name. of Tarth. Brienne of Tarth. Yeah, the 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 giant lady. Sure. She was giant. I mean, that was her. The character was really big. I'm not saying, but she's a she's she's got quite a stature. Huh. Okay. Let's see another. Fun. Go. Is there another? It, the energy just died in the room. Uh, I mean, we're trying to play a game. Come this on. This is a bouncer. Hey, what are you doing here? I work at a pawn shop. This is the Pawn Stars guy. <laughs> this, this is a secondary character. This is uh, Sopranos. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh it got, this is Gandalfini. Benny Soprano. This is the main guy. This is the main guy. James Gal Gandalfini. Yeah, what's his, it's, what's his name? Uh, Tony Soprano. Hey. Tony, Tony, Tony. Look at that. I watched the first couple episodes of that, and then it, it you know, it was the timing. You got to really if watch. You weren't there for the beginning. When, when you when start, it a, you know, when you start, a, which would be a really good show that's been long running, you really got to. You got to be careful when you start a really good show because then if you if you fall off because you you weren't ready, you weren't you weren't committed. Right. You thought you were, but you weren't. That's on you, and then you've kind of you feel like. Well, now my moment has passed. Mm. It's like, I don't feel like I can watch The Sopranos now because I tried it. And it's like, well, do I rewatch those first three episodes or do I try to, yeah, you know. I'm paralyzed. What a conundrum. What a conundrum. Don't do what I did. Learn from my mistakes. Help us create even better content and products for you. Take the 2023 Mythical Census at mythicalcensus.com and get a 15% store discount.